We have named him Obi because um, he was born on May the 4th. So his full name when he's in trouble or we're extra excited is Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> um, but he just goes by Obi. He loves to sleep next to his mom, but we are crate training him, so he's learning how to enjoy his crate as well. But all of the Great Danes like to be close to us, <laughs> which is good. They are companion dogs. So I was just thinking that this might be a question that comes up, and so I wanted to go ahead and answer it now while I was thinking about it. Um, for Obi's ears, um, you, he will notice he's wearing a goofy looking hat. Um, yeah, so he's a Great Dane, um, and it is standard with the breed for them to crop their ears. We, our other two Great Danes do not have cropped ears because we prefer natural ears for Great Danes. Um, yeah, we just, we prefer it for a few reasons. Um, but it is the standard. So the breeder that we got a bee from um, is, a, is a great breeder. Uh, they really prioritize the health of the dogs, which was kind of why we went for him, um, versus doing something like a puppy mill, because <laughs> um, we really want to support um, ethical breeding, as it were. But because he is registered as the type of breeder he's registered as, he has to crop the dog's ears. Um, and part of that is because it it is considered in the dog's best interest for their ear health so that they're less likely to have ear infections and that kind of thing. So that's why he has the funny looking hat. Um, yeah, there's nothing really wrong with his ears. Um, he had the procedure quite a while ago, so his ears are actually healed. Now he just has on the hat so that they stand up straight um, because if they flop, it'll cut off vascularization. Um, or, you know, it'll cut off circulation to his ears, which could cause problems and all sorts of stuff. It would kind of defeat the purpose of cropping them because then they'd be flopped over, making them more prone to ear infections again, that kind of thing. So kind of a long explanation, but um, I've had to explain that to a lot of people have seen pictures of him and have met him. Um, and that is, that's it. He's a Great Dane. They crop their ears. We would prefer, we asked if they could not crop his ears for us. And they said they're just not allowed to, they have to. So yeah, that's why he has the funny looking hat, but that'll be gone um, within another month or two because his ears should be done um, with their development that they are doing at this point. Uh, so yeah, but he is happy and well, and it doesn't bother him at all. Like it's, he doesn't even, it doesn't even look like he notices his hat. <laughs> um, so yeah, just wanted to answer that question in case that came up. And in case anybody is wondering for our other two Great Danes that do have their natural floppy ears, um, they don't they don't get ear infections, um, even though they have their floppy ears because we are very familiar with the breed and we know what to look for um, when it comes to ear health. So we have managed to prevent ear infections for our two adults uh, because anytime they start to show uh, the signs that lead up to an ear infection for a dog we immediately address it so they've never actually gotten an ear infection um so yeah in case you are now wondering well what about the other two because they're they don't have cropped ears and now they're susceptible to ear infections uh technically yes they are more susceptible to ear infections but we take very good care of their ears so they don't get them <laughs> um so yeah which we told the breeder for ob too like we told them you know we know how to keep a Great Dane from getting an ear infection, but he's just not allowed. It's the standard, and he, since he's registered as the type of breeder that he is, it's pretty, they regulate those sorts of things. Um, yeah, so. Hope that answers any of the questions that might have popped up. 